Well, I think it's good to highlight stories of service. You know, I think too often um, veterans as a whole are kind of demonized and, the, and civilian culture looks at us in a very negative light. So having the opportunity to tell stories of like legendary men and women that I served with and putting it in, in a book, uh, that's, that's going to live forever. And, and those stories from the GWAT have to be told because there's lessons learned for the military and service that I think will be applicable for future generations um, that are serving and post-service as well. What do you say to the naysayers and the haters that say you shouldn't be profiting off of your service? Because that's something that's often hurled at all types of veteran military companies is that somehow yeah. you're profiting off of war and tragedy. I think they're moronic uh, because you can ask someone, where'd you go to college? Harvard. Well, you're profiting off going to Harvard. These are experiences that I had and they molded me into the man that I am. And so saying what my, my history is and my time in service, um, I, I think that's a great thing. I, and then you can show people that are serving, that are 18, 19, that there, there's a road forward post-service that mm -hmm. they can go out and do what they want. So they're, they're just stupid. Another thing that if you watch any of the Black Rifle ads or, or whatever you see is that you guys really don't care if you offend anybody. I love that. <laughs> and that's what I yeah. think that when you talk about that veteran subculture and why your videos have been so popular, why your company has been so popular, because veterans have a different type of humor. Yeah. People in the military have a different type of humor and that's okay. But it's almost like they, the outside wants to say, well, you can't say that, you can't do that, but you guys just don't care. Well, why, why should we care? Someone from my community is gonna tell me how to act in my community? Get out of here, you know? And, and there's a piece of irreverence that is associated with war. I mean, it's so romanticized in Hollywood, but you know, body parts and, and, and all that stuff, it can and weigh on you. So a lot of EMS and law enforcement deal with that through humor. And so that's been our outlet, showing that we can come together, we can joke like we did back in the team rooms, just like sports teams do in the locker rooms. And we could put it out there and make people not feel alone for having that kind of macabre sense of humor. And I take massive pride in that. And then the naysayers to that, I don't care because you can live in your fake bubble of PC culture and, and walk around with your microaggressions and live a miserable life because I'm not gonna live a miserable life, I'm gonna live the American dream.